Hello, another video from the Angry Photographer here. I wanted to show you uh, an icon uh, hack of the day, something you can uh, make yourself in about uh, four minutes. Let's uh, turn uh, the D7100 on, work with any Nikon camera. And this is also great for uh, creating a special effects. So you can see I have uh, just simple subjects on the table there for a demo. Um, you get a really beautiful, eerie, soft pastel effect, and uh, this uh, works really well, especially for uh, backlit uh, portraits outdoors. You are going to need a tripod. Um, as you can see, I've got ample lighting here. Typical exposure is about four seconds, and of course, there's no aperture to set, so let's show you how to make your own lens. Let me bring this image up. It's going to show you some other special effects. You can also do a lot of uh, neat uh, special effects stuff like uh, dropping in. Since you got five or six second exposure you can do a lot of uh, neat LED effects. I was just experimenting around to show you guys. Um, it's really neat for portraits. Um, usually you can get someone to sit still um, pretty good. They're going to twitch a little bit over five seconds. So let's show you how to make a lens for two dollars for your Nikon. You're going, oh my god, a lens for two dollars. Like, well, I can technically call it a lens, but nevertheless, the effects are real and uh, it makes amazing little portrait stuff, uh, portrait shots, uh, especially backlit and uh, evening side shots. And let's turn our Nikon off. Oh my god, it's a body cap. So, how hard is this to make? What? No lens? Yeah, that's it. Here we go. We have a Nikon body cap. I took a Dremel tool. I drilled out the dead center. It doesn't have to be super dead center. I mean, as long as it's center. And uh, the most important thing is after you drill it out, you're going to have to uh, chamfer, you know, the edges uh, inside and out with like a little piece of sandpaper or something because you do not want little plastic bits falling back into your camera so you have to make sure and certain after you drill it you know you use an alcohol rub down but you also remove every little micro burr on the inside and outside so nothing falls in your camera take a piece of tin foil and here let's hold it up to the light you can see the size of the hole it actually the hole looks a lot bigger than it really is here we go now the first mistake you're gonna make is you just put your piece of tin foil here and you put some uh, tape right there. First mistake you're gonna make is you're gonna take a sewing needle and you're gonna go whoosh, you're gonna poke it all the way through and you're gonna go that's a small hole but that hole will be too big. What you wanna do is like I said you can get it realistic. It looks large if I do it like this. Um, what you wanna do is just stick the very tip of the needle before it reaches the full width of the needle through the tin foil. You're probably going to have to experiment. First thing you do is poke it in too far. Ha! Ah, there's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> it's going to take you all of about 10 seconds to reapply some new aluminum foil. Then, let's go over to our Nikon. Put it on our Nikon, stick it on your tripod. Oh my god, that was so hard. It took five minutes to make it. So neat. Two dollar body cap, eBay. Awesome effects. Um, you can Google some uh, search results on uh, on uh, pinhole cameras for Nikon. Type in like Nikon pinhole camera. Let's turn the camera back on. Obviously, there <laughs> obviously obviously there's no, no aperture to set. Just put it in a non CPU setting and manual. There's no focusing. There's no aperture to worry about. You know, it's fun to get Stone Age. You thought I was going to say stoned. No. <laughs> it's fun to get stone age um, with photography. And uh, this is about it. You got nothing to worry about. All you got to worry about is your shutter speed. There's no aperture and there ain't no focusing, baby. Um, and uh, the effects uh, for portraiture, you're going to think, oh, this is real cheesy, uh, cheap BS. But uh, trust me, take a morning or evening portrait shot of your wife or your kid and just have them sit still. You know, they're going to move a little bit as any human body will um, but it um, doesn't matter what you type in for the lens I just put in 50 millimeter it doesn't make any difference um, but you will be amazed we get the reflection out of there those are just some crap experimentation you'll be amazed at the uh, oops went a little too far testing a lens there uh, you'll be amazed at the uh, the results you get um, Beautiful, creamy, dreamy, special effect uh, portraiture shots. And, uh, hey, I mean, it's $2. I mean, uh, you'll pay a whole hell of a lot more 
than that for a filter and spend more time uh, achieving the same results in Photoshop. So, you know, buy yourself an extra body cap for your uh, Nikon. Next time you uh, go, <laughs> next time you go out with your photography buddies, tell them you've uh, got a new lens that uh, you can guarantee they haven't tried. It's like, oh, let's see it. And say, well, how big is the lens? It's like, well, it weighs about 20 grams and it's only. Uh, a quarter of an inch thick, and they'll be like, "What?" <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, here you go. This is this is your lens." So, have lots of fun with that one. Um, believe it or not, this works. Like I said, and it is really uh, produces amazing results for portraiture. I mean, uh, uh, we used to have fun uh, back in photography school, uh, taking portraiture shots and uh, some outdoor uh, evening shots. And if you get the light just right, uh, the, the results are amazing. Like I said, you're going to have to experiment around with a hole. Um, you're going to make it too big, so you're going to have to cut another piece of aluminum foil, which is going to take you all about 10 seconds, and then poke a really tiny hole in there, and you're going to have to experiment around with your, uh, you know, depending on what ISO you have your camera set up, experiment around with your exposure times on your tripod, but, you know, so what? It's going to take you all of about, you know, one minute to figure out where to set it up, and big deal. How hard was that? Hey, have fun making photography simple. That should be my motto. By the way, I am busting my ass on NikonFocus.com. I have uploaded almost all videos. I've got tons of content to add, so if you think I'm slacking on the website, I am not. I am kicking it hard on the website. So, of that, I promise you. My promise is my, uh, is my solemn vow. So, Glad to show you this little tip, and uh, you can have a lot of fun with it, okay? Remember, you gotta have a tripod. Ain't gonna be no hand-holding with this sucker. Okay, catch you later. Another video from the Angry Photographer. Time to go get some more caffeine.